get the ball back and we just got to go down there. Someone has got to make a big play. So I always held my head, you know, we're going to get a chance out on that field. And as I'm just watching, I see someone pick up the ball. And just, I, it didn't actually hit me until he's about 20 yards down the field, like what's actually happening. So, you know, I flew down the field excited, just like everyone else. I saw guys falling over. It was just, I was excited, finally. Mark, can you talk about the offense tonight a little bit? You guys were moving the ball well, and it seemed like once you kind of hit 35, things started to, to stall a little bit. Yeah, uh, we came out, um, we did a pretty good job of moving the ball, but we weren't sustaining the drive. You know, um, we might have been missing a few receivers down the field. We might have not been protecting the uh, quarterback as well as we might have hoped. And I didn't feel like I was running as good as I should have. So, you know, we're going to watch the tape, um, fix the little things, and, um, you know, uh, come out stronger than we did this week. Brian, your thoughts on the big drive that ended up in the in the touchdown there to make it 13-7. You, you actually, you and Omar were, were integral parts there, and you finally feel it clicking a little bit during that drive? Yeah, definitely. It was, it was nice to get some points on the board. Um, then once we kicked the field goal, we got to get the defense on and get right back on the field and score again. And we did it. Unfortunately, Neil made a big play for us, but was, uh, the only thing going through my head after the touchdown was, uh, we got one more to go, we got one more to go. The defense got to make a stop. So it was nice, but it was only halfway there. On that fourth quarter drive, did you feel like you guys were wearing him down a little bit? Omar was getting some nice moves yeah, in the middle. Yeah, they, they were. We could tell from the beginning. I mean, they're being worn down, like, like we were talking about, which were finishing drives. Uh, we were wearing them down, uh, keeping the tempo up. And the fourth quarter, they were. You could tell they were, you know, falling over, yeah. over their knees. And we, we finished. And we scored. We scored one touchdown. Hopefully, there'll be a lot more to come you know, next week for the offense. But uh, it's been the only. You know, explain what happened. Can you explain what happened? Honestly, um, I just was doing what I was supposed to do, and you know, my teammates came out of nowhere. We made a big play when we needed it, and the ball presented itself. I just took it in and we needed a, we needed a big play, so it just happened. Did that? Or did you pick that up off the air? Or was that on the ground? Off the, off the, off the ground. Right off the ground. Did you, when you were running, did you think at all it might be a flag or it might have blown a whistle or anything like that? Or were you pretty sure as you were running that the, it was going to count? I was, I was pretty sure because I saw the hit. It was a clean hit. I saw his helmet and the ball pop out and the ball in right there. And I saw nothing dirty, nothing out of the room. And I just picked it up and ran with it. So. You were in that house and you were like, that's fine. How grateful were you for those preseason sprints? I'm so grateful, so grateful. It wasn't for that. <laughs> Were you thinking this game is over right before that play? Honestly, no, I wasn't because our coach just kept telling us, we need a big play, we need a big play, we need to force a fumble, we need to make something happen. And it happened, we made it happen. So it was, it was never over. It's not over until it's over. So. Brian, how about the win on Bob Ford Field and, and, and all of that? And, I mean, that was big get a win here last year. Well, what's it mean to get that one? And then Coach Ford up in the up in the press box. Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, the way we got it and, uh, was awesome. Um, we didn't get one last year, so no one know what it felt like on, on, our, <laughs> on our new field. But it felt great after the game. We all ran over the band, you know, kind of jumping around like wild guys. But uh, it meant a lot, especially the way it happened. You know, the, the ball didn't roll for us well last year. The chips didn't fall our way. But hopefully this season's a little different. Omar, how about you with this? The, you know, getting a win on Bob Ford to feel what this is me and you, your senior, you were here through the through everything last year. Absolutely, um, it, it felt great. And, you know, the uh, the picture just stayed in my, in my mind last year of you know losing all these home games, you know, fireworks uh, blasting through the sky after a loss, you know, that that type of stuff hurts. And just finally getting a win, and you know, being able to celebrate and smile when you see those fireworks up in the sky. Thank you. Thank you.